five minute lessons and we're off uh oh it's gonna cost me okay this is everything i can teach you in five minutes about lines and uh, direct variation so lines well they go on forever in both directions this line has a positive slope that's what you want your money to do this line has a negative slope that's what I want my weight to do this line is neither positive nor negative but I could walk on it so that has a slope of zero and this line is neither positive nor negative, but I could not walk on it. And this has an undefined slope. And that'll make more sense to you as you get learning. There's no room in five-minute lessons for that type of stuff. Slope. Okay. Um, slope is often referred to by the letter M. Don't ask. I don't have enough time. Now, we sometimes call that delta y over delta x, change in y over change in x. Well, change in math is often just calculated with subtraction. Let's go back to the weight problem. So what if we had two points, 10 comma 4 over and out and uh, negative 2 comma 6, and we wanted the slope between those two points, we would do 6 minus 4. Make sure you put your y's on top over 10 minus negative 2. That's 2 on top. That's 12 on bottom. And that indeed is positive. No, positive 1 sixth, 1 sixth, 1 sixth, 1 sixth. Okay. Now, into the nitty-gritty, the most important equation that you will learn in Algebra 1, which will carry over into Algebra 2, is definitely slope-intercept. That's y equals mx plus b. Now, remember, when we write this, if it's an actual example, m is going to be a number, and b is going to be a number, but y and x are variables. They'll change throughout the problem. That's what makes something a line. A line is a set of infinitely many points x and y okay or x comma y so what is m m is our slope like we said in a previous slide and b is our y intercept so that's how we define a line what makes lines different well where do they begin that's the y intercept and then at what direction do they increase or decrease so if we had y equals negative 3x plus 100 that would start up here at 100 and then that would go down very slightly and that is what that equation looks like notice positive y-intercept negative slope okay what about point slope well if we have any point uh oh x1 comma y1 why don't we call that x comma y well because our equations already going to have x1 and y1 so when we do this in an actual example those will be numbers okay and then we have m that's also going to be a number if we have our slope and a point then our equation will be y minus y1 these m times x minus x1 okay so a common question might be um slope is four and it, it contains the point one comma four find the equation of the line in point slope form well that would be y minus four is four times x minus one if you have a negative number then it's x minus a negative one and you just make it a positive okay hopefully that helps Okay, standard form. Standard form is AX plus BY equals C. This is not a common form. It's very convenient when it comes to graphing things by their intercepts. So let's say we had, I don't know, 10X plus 2Y equals 20. We'll just put in a zero for X. That basically makes this thing kind of disappear. 
because 10 times 0 is 0, and you end up getting a 10 for y. Well, that means we found our y-intercept, okay? Well, then put in a 0 for x. Well, that'll make, or sorry, a 0 for y. Well, that makes this disappear, and you get a 2 for that one. So now you know that the intercepts are 0, 10, 2, 0. That's a fast way to graph that line. That's it. Five-minute lesson.